Hi guys, so um, today I thought I would show you how to make a cool CD case out of paper. When I was watching Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, I saw this really interesting cool CD case that they made. And um, I couldn't find it anywhere on the internet, so I tried to figure it out, and this is what I came up with. It has a fold and a flap, and you stick the CD right in here. The things that you're going to need are two blank sheets of paper, scissors, and clear tape is probably best. Um, okay, so you're going to want to start off with a CD. I have just a burned CD of the Star Wars soundtracks, because I'm a total geek. And the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take one sheet of paper, and you're going to place this in what you think feels like the middle of the top. So first things first, you're going to fold this up and make sure that it's straight. And you're going to press it down on both sides and then you're going to take your CD out. That's really important before you press down your sides. Next thing that you're going to do is you're going to make a small crease on the bottom. This is going to be your bottom now. In the middle. So fold your paper in half. And you could probably mark it with pencil too and stick your CD back here in the middle. You're going to fold this flap down, straight down. And you want to make sure that this center is in the middle or else it's not going to turn out right. So you need it to be straight down. And you will have this little bit of space here, which is fine. And do the same thing on the other side. You just want to try and keep it as even as possible and take out your CD once you've folded down both sides a little bit so that you can do a real crease. Try and make sure that it's even. Mine's not very even, so I'm going to try and fix it. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to put your CD back in the middle and you're going to fold this across like this. and try and press down a little bit, not all the way. And same with this one here. So you're going to pull it out and then give it a real nice hard crease. And in order to get this to stay, what you're going to do is you're going to take your tape and just put, take a nice long piece and stick it on the bottom in the middle to start off with is probably the best policy to do it. Slip it back in, it's going to be nice and tight in there. It's not going to fall out when you hold it upside down. So we're going to make the outer flap, which is this part. So what I did was I take this, and it's best if you use a pencil or a pen again to just mark this top grab a pen. So I'm just going to make small little marks on the top because you want it to be nice and even and cover the whole thing. So what you're going to do now is take your scissors and just cut along this line that you've made. So now that you have this sheet of paper, you're going to take this and put it on either side. It really doesn't matter. Whichever side is straightest probably. And then you want to fold this over on top of this crease. Now you have this bit of extra, you want to cut that off. So what I would do if you don't want to score it with your pen or pencil, make two little snips on either side and then take out your pocket and just cut from snip to snip. Now you can either glue it in with uh, just any sort of glue or you can scotch tape it in. I'm going to go get the glue and just glue it on your back. Of course it's better if you use a you know thicker glue because this is really cheap. and just stick it down, lining up the edges. There you go. Have your very own nifty opening CD case. 
So you can look me up on Blogspot, Twitter, and Daily Booth. My usernames are all going to be PeterD08, and I'll have links in the sidebar.